Yes, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm VJ, and you're watching another episode of my reaction for today. For today, guys, I'm going to react on Horizon, and I think it's high time for me to know them well. So I'm gonna have guide to Horizon. Anyway, I have here from a very familiar uh, YouTube channel. This is from OK Cool, a helpful guide to Horizon Filipino boy group. Let's go, guys. Filipinos are starting to make a name for themselves in the mm. K-pop industry. Yep, you've heard that right. And while it's pretty common to meet international members from time to time, this amazing and talented group is different because, let me tell you, they're proud and loud to represent their country. With seven Filipino members, Horizon is taking the industry by storm. And as mm -hmm. expected, the group is paving the way for more aspiring Filipino idols to take the leap and debut as K-pop idols. If you want to know mm -hmm. about... Yeah, I think this is the first time that an all-Filipino group is actually debuting in South Korea. Like K-pop and not P-pop, right? And there are a lot of there who have Filipino blood, of course, Unis, they have uh, three of them, uh, Lapilos, and some other groups which have members who are Filipinos by blood. But yeah, I agree that Horizon is really a different group because they are like an all-Filipino group debuted in South Korea, debuted as, you know, K-pop idols about these talented boys then make sure to keep watching and prepare to fall in love here are seven facts you need to know about horizon okay cool oh they actually comprised it to seven facts because there are seven of them and horizon is spelled with seven well let's get started number seven everything mm. started with a dream Dream Maker mm. is a reality television competition produced by ABS-CBN in collaboration with MLD Entertainment and Camp Korea Inc. If you've been an avid K-pop fan, you'll probably know how the dynamics work because it's similar to the survival show series such as Produce 101 and mm. Boys Planet in South Korea. To be more specific, it's a Filipino take and it follows the journey of aspiring K-pop idols from the Philippines. With mm. 62 Dream Chasers, the show is their- Ooh, there are a lot of them. That's 62 down to 7. Their shot to finally make their long-awaited debut as they compete for a seat in a worldwide P-pop group that would train under the K-pop system and eventually debut in South Korea. The first episode aired on November 19th, 2022, and the official theme song, Take My Hand, was released six days later and became a sure hit among Filipino fans. As mm. expected, the battle was fierce, and since each participant was eager to show what they got, viewers were treated with amazing performance week after week. In the end, seven were chosen, and the rest is history. I'm mm. pretty sure you also want to get to know the members one by one. Don't worry, because I've got you covered. Let's first meet... Mm. I love this. Tyler, hailing from Quezon City. Okay, so the one that I really, really thought that he has actually a resemblance of uh, Astros Chaon Wu. Yeah, he is actually Kyler. Ooh. Tyler is known for being an avid EXO. Mm, this is really exciting. I mean, I'm an EXO well, and he is also an avid fan of EXO. So I think, yeah, we're both XOLs in this sense. So I love Kyler. <laughs> well, and guess what? Kai is his bias. Ooh. Next is... I mean, I have also known many idols out there who look up to Kai because Kai is the mm. idol of idols. Yeah, I didn't think that one of the Horizon boys actually look up to Kai, uh, to Kai also. So that's Kyler. Anyway... Raster, who was born in Nueva Ecija. Okay, so he is Raster. The first one was uh, Kyler, and then now this is Raster. Uh, in 2003, Raster. aside from being an aspiring K-pop idol, he's also a full-time cat dad. At the Ooh. same time, he's also a big K-pop fan and likes NCT and Hypen, BTS, Blackpink, Twice. Oh. <laughs> in short, he is a multi-stan person, you know? He loves, like many groups itsy and others meanwhile mm. jerome ranked first on the survival show making him the focal point of the group he's the oh, really so jerome that's and um, that's not actually jeremy so jerome is that the correct pronunciation on that anyway jerome 
he actually was hailed as top one. Okay, that's interesting. The second youngest member being 14 years old, but don't mm, very, very young. underestimate him because he's the best example of what an ace looks like. Mm. Speaking of younger, Marcus bears the status of the Mathne. He was born. Okay, he's actually the youngest. And I was told that Marcus is actually cousin of Eunice Elysia. So, yeah, that's interesting. And really, I thought that Marcus and Jerome quite resembled each other right they're like twins anyway on august 31st 2009 in bataan and is only 13 years old what? just like the others he has outstanding singing rapping and dancing abilities which is amazing for his mm. age vinci was born on march 11th okay so this is vinci i thought this is vinci so vinci 2000 and it's it, because yeah that's the Vinci. Group's eldest okay. member, so it's easy to see why he was named leader. He's a self Ooh, He's actually the leader of the group. Hot singer and dad. Oh, um, I just remembered I was told that uh, the high note, because that was so, so amazing. The last time that I had reacted to Horizon, there was one there stood out in terms of vocals. Like, uh, he actually did the building, and I was like, who was that? Uh, I was told that that was actually Vinci, the leader of the group. Uh, okay. The answer was proven that he was born to be a celebrity. Mm. Kim, on the other hand, was born in Bacolod on February 17th. Okay, Kim. So I really think that they have the same faces, you know? 2002, <laughs> anyway. and is a BTS fan and the happy. Ooh. I mean, Kyler is an XOL and Kim is a, an army. <laughs> owner of five kitties guess Ooh. what he was already an internet celebrity before mm. making his debut with over two million tiktok followers Ooh. last but not the least winston was born in 2005 and comes from samar he is mm. one of eight siblings and impressed samar is from visayas and yeah i think he speaks what i or some sort of a uh, visaya he knows how to read and write in korean mm. number six anchor just like any group, Horizon also has a fandom name. They oh, I thought Anchor is another member. But yeah, I was told that Anchor is the fandom name of Horizon. And um, I just don't know why. What's the meaning behind it, you know? They endearingly named their fans Anchor to reflect the unwavering and immense support they receive from them. The name also represents the idea that fans will become the compass as the anchors of the boat that is Horizon, as posted on their official Twitter account. But wait, mm, that is so clever and yeah, that's so sweet. Means to say that without their anchors, of course, they could not move forward. If there is more, because it. Oh, this is their performance in AAA 2024 held here in the Philippines, and yeah, I was watching that the whole show i think i saw horizon but i i didn't yet know who who they are you know anyway turns out that an actual um i was i was actually recommended to watch that performance i'm just gonna watch that in my next episode well, fans submitted the fandom name through their official fandom name contest mm. i think we can all agree that this made their fandom name a so this has been an interesting you know i loved how this video is made i mean this is so concise hundred times better and more meaningful number five they released pre-debut mm. tracks before they officially made their debut horizon tease anchors with three music videos all three music videos included songs that were first revealed at dream maker but this time the members were given the chance to pre-record it and make it official mm. the first single dash was released a little oh that's actually their pre-debut and they're like pro in there <laughs> you know um, Dash is actually so, so good. I've watched that. I think one of their pre-debut releases is also the Salamat one. And I also love that. That's that's kind of emotional. ...a month after the Dream Maker finals. After that, Horizon released Salamat, which translates as thank you to extend their gratitude to their ever-supportive fans. Mm. To ramp up the tempo and convey a more comparable image to their first single, their pre-release run finished with the energizing Lovey mm. Dovey. Number 4. Debut Journey 
Horizon invited their fans to accompany them on their road to their official debut with their reality mm. show, 100 Days Miracle, which was aired on Mnet and M2's YouTube oh. channels. The series followed the lads as they prepared to take the stage in South Korea. Through the show, viewers got a peek into Horizon's daily lives as they mm, adjusted to their new... Uh, yeah. This is actually Chante of Lapalus, right? She is also a Filipino. Lovey Dovey music video. Each episode also included a special guest panel of idol commentators, including TFN, La Pillas, AB6, and Way members. Mm. Of course, this panel shared their advice to the members, which definitely helped them overcome the hardships and pressure of the preparation. Mm. Number 3. Moving to Seoul we all know how Horizon traveled to Seoul immediately after finishing Dreammaker to begin preparing for its worldwide debut. The members, who are all from the Philippines, are still adjusting to their new beginnings. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just imagine moving to Seoul from a tropical country. You must be, you know, culture shocked. Uh, at the same time, you know, the weather in there. So different nation yeah. many of their first treasures there are really many adjustments to be made in a way moments in south korea including their first stroll around the city Ooh, that was whole... actually the building of mld i love that unit are captured for anchors through their mini variety show called after school horizon mm. On top of this, this show also aims to help them improve their Korean through a series of classic broadcast games after school. Mm. One of the classics is Any Word in Silence, a K-pop fan favorite in which partners must guess a list of words from a partner while wearing headphones. <laughs> Horizon's efforts may also be seen on TikTok where they practice Korean dictation on miniature magnetic drawing mm. boards. And while it's a long way to go, a lot of fans appreciate their dedication to learning the mm. language. And as their initial you know, that is so so hard and i'm really so impressed with filipino or even japanese ones japanese and chinese who are actually part of k-pop groups i'm so impressed that they are so good in pronouncing and even speaking the language korean language that is just so hard even me you know i've watched too many thousands of k-dramas but all I know is Anyungasayo and you know, like phrases like that. <laughs> it's so hard. Motions come to an end. Fans are anxiously yet excitedly awaiting their next release to see how much their Korean has improved. Number two, friendship. After everything that happened, Horizon finally released its W Studio album Friendship mm. last July 24th, 2023. Through this well, I was recommended to watch their friendship um album. And listen to their songs. Yeah, I'm gonna watch and listen to that and, you know, sooner. The group was able to prove their potential with 12 songs in Korean, Tagalog, and mm. English. 16, the title song, is a whimsical pop melody suited for the summer season. Aside from their amazing vocals, Horizon also channeled a message that encourages their listeners to live in the mm. moment with lyrics such as, I'm done thinking about tomorrow, or you only live mm. once. The reference to the number 16 is about the peak of their youth as they sing, I feel like 16, I wanna run without hesitation, mm. and I wanna love somebody, follow my heart, feel like 16. Mm. Friendship also introduces two subunit singles, How You Feel and Death or Paradise. The they also have subunits. That's cool. Former features the two youngest members of Horizon, Marcus and Jerome, as well as label mate Lapilus Youngest, mm. Payun. With the new Jack Swing type tune, the band goes full throwback, replete with baggy clothing and groove based mm. dancing. On the other hand, Death or Paradise highlights the elder members' more sophisticated Ooh, image. This is so exciting. That's why I was told to watch that, that music videos. Yeah. Which is complemented by a performance video in a traditional suit and tie. And I think we can all agree that fans loved mm. it. Number 1. Voyage in the K-pop mm. industry Anchors have a lot to look forward to and by the looks of it, the group is just getting started. Most notably, their debut concert, Friendship, gathered tons of anchors who show their support to the mm. group. Fans are also hoping the Horizon... Oh, they had their first... I mean, they had their concert already? ...may visit other cities or possibly nations in the near future. Oh, Horizon I think... Yeah, I, I think not yet. 
Horizon is constantly rising as they wrap up their promotion for 16. Horizon recently released a self-produced music video for Birthday, which wow, coincided they self-produced that. That's cool. With an episode of 100 Days Miracle in which the lads set out to locate iconic mm. K-pop filming spots. This shows how the seven members of Horizon win hearts all around the world with their music, variety of material, and performances. This is only the beginning of the septet, and we can't wait to see what new vistas they will explore. So, are you an anchor now? Let us know in the comments which member is your favorite. Mm. Also, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel yeah, for more. Yeah, all the boys are so lovable, adorable. At a young age, you know, you can see their potential. There, there are a lot of rooms for improvements still, but they had already shown their, their dedication to their talents and also to their fans. So, yeah, I'm rooting for Horizon, of course, because this is an old Filipino boy group. We should be supporting them. I thank so much for watching this episode. I'm gonna watch... Um, I think they their AAA performance in my next episode. For now, guys, thank you and bye bye.